Okay, awesome stuff. Uh, welcome once again. Welcome to the International School of Traders. Welcome to our Thursday Market Watch. This is where we're going to be looking at the markets together and then we trade together. So let's go, let's uh, check out what the market has for us. I'm gonna start off with the usual, the fundamentals. Uh, I wanna know what's happening today before I trade. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna check my economic calendar and I'm gonna look for some of the things that are very important um, today. Now, um, just give me a second. We have already received some very, uh, I mean, a lot of news, especially in Australia, the unemployment change and, um, and unemployment rates and all those things. The numbers were positive in Australia. And uh, we are going to be looking, I'm going to be looking at uh, uh, Australian dollar versus the, uh, the United States dollar today. Uh, but moving forward, we've also received a lot of producer price index news today, which is what we need to expect later on today, this afternoon from the US, which is the producer price index. Uh, these are the news that really move the market. Uh, then in Canada, we are going to be seeing some manufacturing sales and initial jobless claims in the US at half past two today. So if you are trading today at half past two, trading caution uh, with, uh, with caution always and always. Okay, cool stuff. Now, uh, let's get into the real deal. Let's get into some awesome stuff. So I'm gonna look at the markets with you today. Uh, Okay, cool stuff. I'm gonna look at the markets today with you and let us then uh, talk about these markets. Come on. Okay, cool. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with EuroUSD. This is the trade we took yesterday and we got taken out uh, of this trade, right? These other things that we were looking at, but what, our, what I, realized uh, later on that we had some imbalances on these levels and we are still continuing to have some imbalances in this market. Uh, still a bearish market though, uh, still a very bearish market, meaning that the next level that we can look out for, which is very important, is this one right here. Let me click this guy, is this one. So we can look out for this level and see if we can sell at this particular level right here. But uh, please do remember that uh, it's looking like uh, the dollar uh, is, uh, has been losing strength for quite a number of times now, quite a number of days ever since the NFP news came out on Friday last week. So uh, let's look at uh, some other new, some other pairs, EuroUSD. The only thing we can do on EuroUSD for now is to wait and see if the market does reject this area right here, and then we can sell uh, if that is possible, right? Cool. So let's continue. Um, let's look at USDCHF. Now, this is a trade that I quickly closed yesterday because we opened it uh, with you guys here yesterday. Quickly closed this trade with profit when we were buying around these zones. Market went all the way up, and then I started closing uh, I think it was yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. Uh, I took this trade, right? Um, there was a some sort of a, a, a structure here that we were observing, and then we did buy here. This whole piece was around 30 pips, and then boom, we were in profit. Now, what is going on? Let's go back to the daily time frame. We know that the market is still bullish. Uh, let me just delete this. I was on a one one session. We know that the market is still bullish and we want to be looking for buy orders, right? We want to look for the lows. Um, so in this particular case, what, what, what should I look for? Uh, first of all, this is a very beautiful support area which was resistant in the past on USDCHF, right? And then um, I'm, I'm going to try and be I'm gonna try and be loud, guys, uh, because uh, they're cutting grass outside and all of that. Uh, so I don't know how, well, how, how much is the, how, how the noise is affecting you guys, but let's continue. 
So there's this resistant area that we've been looking at uh, in the past and markets broke out to this level and then tested and went up, right? But yesterday we saw markets pushing further down even after the FOMC meeting minutes, uh, meaning that the dollar gained strength, I mean, the Swiss franc gained strength against the dollar yesterday, right? This is a very beautiful level to look out for. Um, let me measure it using my fibs. So I'm taking this one right here. It's very significant for me. So if we see this bounce right here, uh, this bounce is very important. If it's a successful bounce on this level, then we can look to buying uh, on these levels. We need to see some more uh, rejection on this area before we continue, uh, before we continue uh, buying, okay? Because that's one item frame, nothing much. Uh, 15 minutes time frame, check. Uh, nothing much as yet, but uh, it will be a good trade if, we, if this trade succeeds uh, in the near future, it's going to be a good one. If this trade succeeds in this direction, like this one, right? If it does succeed in this direction, uh, it a good trade. Okay, cool stuff. I don't know if yesterday I did uh, speak about USDZR, uh, but I need to speak about it today, right? So USDZR, uh, we know that the market has been pushing towards the downside, but then as we can explain, uh, some of the numbers came out negative. If some of the numbers came out negative, uh, but it's cool. Uh, this is on a daily time frame. I just want to add something. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Just add something. Okay, let me add something, guys. Uh, I'm going to add. In the 50 and adding the 200. Okay. All sisters. Now. Uh, there's something that I mentioned, I think uh, it was last week or so, that we are having this kind of a structure here. We were seeing this market going all the way up and beginning to give us those retracements towards the downside, right? Which may be something that is expected to look more like this, right? Uh, this can be something that is expected to be more like this. Now, this is the first wave, uh, meaning that you can expect something like this one. Boom. Boom. This would be very massive for this South African one. If this does happen, right? This should be very beautiful in South African one. If this does happen, right? But, um, I'm seeing these levels being very critical towards this, uh, towards this uh, particular setup. These levels, these two levels, these three levels, actually 50, 200, and 100 daily moving average are looking very, very promising, right? And yet I'm going to look to buy, uh, especially on the 200, the 200 and the uh, 100 are very close to each other. So I'm gonna be looking to buy here uh, this is going to lead to something like this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's go down to a smaller time for now. Let's go to daily. Okay. Now, according to this one, then which one is this one? This is one thing that we may want to look at. This is seven 
Just give me a second, guys. Okay, this is interesting, right? It's very interesting, right? So as I was saying that uh, I wanna buy at least around this zone uh, down here, it's looking very promising, guys, that uh, we can use that zone as a level of our buy, right? So we will see probably the market wanna give us these kind of a support also, right? So these kind of a support also, uh, we might not know, but this one is looking very promising. There's more confidence on this area for me. This area has more confidence for me in the things I can to each other on this level for a buy uh, right here. Okay, good stuff. Um, gold, what's going on in gold? Gold is pushing up. Uh, this has been, the prediction, I don't know for how many uh, days now, but uh, gold, I'm expecting gold to hit this level before I start selling gold, right? To hit this level up here. This is a very beautiful level. Uh, I think it's the 127 mark. If not that level, then the higher one, right? So I'm gonna look for this guy Yeah. Expansion. Because, so uh, the only areas that I can use to sell is this one, which is going to look like more the first one, but I'm going to see a retracement from there. Then uh, from there, another buy towards that level to the top side, right? So this is looking very beautiful in terms of gold, but I'm not yet ready to buy. We need to sell, we need to look at buying on market come down to these zones, right? It's a very beautiful level. Uh, let me just check something here. From looks more proper. So, okay, cool. So we're looking at the future of the market, the possibilities and all those things. And there's no tool which is much better than the feed uh, to look at that, right? So, uh, USD CAD, what's going on? Nothing there. What is UP? Nothing there. The AD, nothing there. GPCHF went all the way down after the prediction yesterday. Uh, but we can still look for some sellers, you know, on these zones. I'm still gonna be looking. So look at this move right here. This looks like more of an impulse. Uh, this looks like more of an impulse. Let me do something here and check something. Okay. Something here. Yeah. This is We don't want to touch on the entity DSD uh, before we finish. Uh, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Okay. Okay, cool. Mm 
Okay. This is a very beautiful moment in time. This is a very beautiful moment here. Okay, I think we have to monitor this trade. We need to monitor GPC. This is a very serious trade. It can give us a lot of money in the future. If we look at it, uh, it can give us a lot and a lot and a lot of money. But just by just looking at it, I'm like, damn, if this one uh, works out like this, uh, then uh, there is a uh, big potential on this one, right? Big potential on this trade. I think the last one that we can study is on the DUSD. Before we go back, uh, some people are on lunch breaks and all of that. Some people are going to be watching this later. So let's see. The last one that we can look at. So MZDSD is still in a rising. Rising markets are not in a rising market, and for our temporary disparage, but now this is started to give us some higher highs and higher lows, uh, which is something very important. Uh, there's something very important that I want to mention here, uh, but I want to mention it with the guys in the group. Uh, everybody in the group, I'm going to mention it. Something very important that I'm seeing here. I think it's in have a look at right. Okay, good stuff. ADSD. For me, ADSD. There's no, there's no need to start looking for buys. We have already missed, but for sales, we might want to look at. But short term sales. Short term sales are the ones that you need to look at, not the long term sales guys on ABUSD. Okay, awesome stuff. That is all for me today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do subscribe. There's more education, there's more content coming there. And then uh, please do like this video. I'm going to link some other videos here, uh, which are very important. Please do have a look at them. Uh, they are very important, and uh, we are going to. Um, before I say shalom or bye bye, uh, this coming weekend I'm having a conference in Rosebank. I only have two seats left. Uh, yesterday I had four, and now I have two seats left for the Rosebank conference. Uh, we are going to be having some beautiful time together in the market. You don't want to miss that one. And the Forex Summer Special is still going uh, for the original price of uh, two, uh, two triple nine. You are getting the whole package, as who knows. Uh, actually, this week I didn't want to present uh, to the guys on the free group, but you know, I was like, okay, let's give them a chance again. Uh, I want to present only to them to business group traders every day, and then on other days, you guys can be. Uh, invited randomly, as we mentioned earlier uh, last month. Okay, good stuff. Uh, we are going to be having a good time in Rosebank. If you don't want to miss that one, do give us a WhatsApp. Uh, there's a WhatsApp number on the group. Do give us a call or a WhatsApp or whatsoever for that conference. And then for next weekend, 
Next weekend, we are still open for other people also to come in uh, to our office. Something very big tomorrow that I'll announce. Uh, so stay tuned uh, if you are looking to join me to come to the office and announcing something very nice tomorrow for tomorrow on for tomorrow on. Oh, let me just make that announcement now, right? Let me just make it now. What time is it now? It's 12.30. 12.30, it's 12.34 actually. Tomorrow, or meaning midnight tonight, the Forex Summer Special gets even crazier, right? Let me mention that again. The Forex Summer Special gets even crazier. Uh, this is what uh, it, it's coming up with. So from 12 in the evening tomorrow till 12, for 24 hours, actually, for 24 hours, from 12 in the evening tonight, uh, 12 in the morning or 12 in the evening, whatever you call it, they will, the forex summer special gets even crazier. Only tomorrow, get the whole course, the full thing, the whole thing, only at a 50% discount tomorrow, right? Only tomorrow. So. Uh, don't say I didn't tell you only tomorrow. Prepare yourself. We are going to book you for this coming weekend or the next weekend where we are going to be meeting you uh, in the office. Uh, you have to sit down with me. I have to show you some deep things, some deep price action. Uh, so, see you on the other side of the withdrawal. So, one and only.